Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show where we keep uh, Tony Duffy right here in studio. Why? Because we're talking one million cups. Welcome, sir. Good to see you, Joe. Uh, next to him is uh, David Speltz, uh, who is, or excuse me, uh, Ryan Speltz, uh, who is here, as well as uh, David Politis. Welcome, both morning, all Joe. of you, to the show, for that matter. Good morning. Thanks for having us. I am excited. Uh, we you know, This is kind of more of my area uh, that I enjoy it's when your it comes space, to one million Joe. cups. This yeah. might be my space, yeah, 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 for sure. When we talk publicity, when we talk publishing, uh, this is an area that I'm very interested in. So uh, first of all, uh, let's talk about One Million Cups. You had a little uh, one month hiatus there to kind of regroup a little bit and yeah, get we, things ready to go. Yeah, we took July off. Uh, yeah. just, just where it fell is our first Wednesday yeah. of the month. It fell right on the holiday. So we took that off and focused on uh, uh, working with uh, a number of our different partners like Park City TV That's to right. kind of move our, our 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 planning forward into fall and we're back at it here August 2nd at uh, Weber State downtown uh, and One Million Cups is a uh, uh, kind of an entrepreneur's dream it's kind of industry agnostic and we uh, we bring together and curate an audience of folks that are from uh, the entrepreneurial and startup world as well as folks from the education sector and larger business and civic organizations and institutions to hear presentations from uh, small businesses that are looking to uh, uh, grow an audience, take a next step, uh, create, it, it's, it's kind of just networking on steroids right. uh, and, and incredibly focused on uh, growing businesses in the geography. So we're one of a uh, hundred chapters or more than 100 chapters across the country wow. uh, that are all engaging in the same thing, uh, kind of driven by the Kauffman Foundation. So it's an exciting time, and, and uh, we're, we're excited to have, we have two very different uh, communication yeah, companies we do. this month, so we're pretty excited to hear these guys uh, share. Well, you know, the thing that I have to say about uh, One Million Cups so far is, given the people who you've brought into my program here and I've had an opportunity to interview, these are all people who, I, if I was working on a new business, I don't want to know every one of them. Oh, for sure. Yeah, because there's something that each one of them can add, and that's really the whole point of One Million Cups right yep. there. Connecting so let's, people uh, and ideas. let's do that. Let's connect a little bit right now, and uh, we start with uh, Ryan Speltz, and it's Connection Publishing. So tell us a little bit about your program. Well, we started, I started with a desire, like you said, to be involved in the entrepreneurial community in Ogden, and when I heard about One Million Cups, I got excited because those are the kind of people I've wanted to be around for a long time. People have the desire to create something and to go out on their own and, and make something. My wife and I decided to create community magazines that are focused on a community very right. specifically, um, like North Ogden City and Pleasant View City is another one. And yeah. we work closely with the cities, so we actually provide them a medium to be able to communicate their information and news that's See happening, that as well as history and stories we focus on the students in the community and Is it's all you? advertising supported yeah i got outvoted ah, i ended up on the, on the cover, cover. <laughs> well if it's your magazine you should do yeah. that, if right? i was publishing a magazine i'm totally going to be on one of the covers yeah awesome. especially if you've got a Let's child be honest, it's for the you. blondie it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're yeah. growing there with you and you're in good shape Look yeah at that. that's just beautiful yeah uh, i would do exactly the same for sure so all what right. started as a a desire to create connection between the community and the companies in the community that are serving them and the the government has also turned into a passion for telling the stories and the creativity that goes in, into this and involved in creating a magazine is so fun and it's just been really an exciting project and we love it and we're actually being approached now by other cities that uh, want something similar like this and so we're poised to grow as well. Well, I think it's important. There's uh, definitely a space here that uh, kind of goes untouched, which is small to medium business that needs, you know, an opportunity to have their, you know, to, to get their word out. And, you know, they can't afford to go into the big papers. They can't yeah. afford to go into the big magazines. This is a way to get them going. So you're connecting that with government, which wants right. has messaging they want. Yep. There, that's a that's a really important space. I think it is. Yeah, it's uh, it, when you talk about the the community, that's the heart of it, right there. It is, yeah. And wow. we love creating that connection. That's this is that's great. Now, uh, talk to me about how people uh, in say North Ogden, Pleasant View, or some of these other loca locales that are looking to be part of this, how do they do that? Well, connectionpub.com is our website, and we put a digital version of this on there that we have um, up every month, as well as opportunities for advertising. That's how the right. the uh, magazine is run is through advertising revenue. Yep. And um, and then we also have uh, fun contests that we do, and the community will come to the website. We're starting a photography contest right now, so we'll get um, probably over a hundred photo photographers in the community that will submit. And the last time we did an art contest, we had over two thousand people vote 
um, on their favorite wow. piece of art and things. So our engagement level is really high. It's been really a cool experience to get involved like that with the community and, and meet those creative people. That's what we wanted to be part of, you know, is people who are creating art or photography that, uh, that is something to look at. That's so. awesome. Well, well done. These are beautiful and uh, you've clearly uh, started to engage people, which is the big part of this. And what, again, a, a big part of what Million Cups is all about. But uh, when it comes to engagement, you know, another guy who knows how to do that, and that's uh, David Politis, who is here uh, and his company. And first of all, let's talk about uh, this, uh, the rules for publicity success. You, t you and I talked about this off camera, right. and I love this idea of uh, what you called it, which is uh, granny branding. Right. So if, you're, if you can explain it in a way that your grandma can understand, who we know can't program the DVD right. recorder or anything like that, <laughs> yeah. or the phone, yeah. as it were, uh, then she's going to understand. That means everybody understands. Uh, exactly right. I don't know that I can actually program my DVD or my, my, my VCR right. when I had it, but the reality is, is that most small business owners tend to be subject matter experts, yeah. and when they talk to someone who's not in their area of expertise, it goes right over your head. Right. So for example, if you take your daughter in to the doctor because she got hurt playing soccer, and three days later she's still complaining about her leg, the doctor will look at you and say, oh, don't worry about it, she has a deep contusion. Yeah. It's like, what? Oh, she has a deep bruise. Why don't they just say bruise? Yeah, and so, use a word we can understand. Exactly. And so. Entrepreneurs should be able to explain what it is they do right. in 30 seconds or less, or in 40, 50 words or fewer. If you can do that, that's an example of what's called an elevator pitch. And that's yeah. one of the things that I'll be talking about at William, One Million Cups at uh, the beginning of, of August. And that's why I wrote this book. It's designed to help entrepreneurs understand even the basics of how to raise their visibility drive more sales, attract money, and eventually sell their business if that's what, what they want to do. Now you have six uh, important lessons here. Let's talk about those, because that's a really, I mean, if you want to distill this down uh, to its smallest level, these are six very important parts of that. Well, first of all, you need to understand your position. So yeah. um, an example of this would be, if, you, if I asked you to say, what's the largest rental car company in the world, you might say Hertz or Avis, but the actuality is that it's now no. enterprise, yeah. right? And so understanding who your competition is and where you fit vis-a-vis -vis your competition is important. Okay. Next, you need to worry about your message. And so your message, and it goes actually to a second step, is you need to be able to explain it so that your mother-in-law or your granny or your cousin or your neighbor down the street will understand what you're doing. Absolutely. Um, you need to be able to also, um, boil it down so that it can be replicated. You want to make sure you be, you're able to say and write the same things again and again and again. Right. But once you've done that, you want to leverage that so that everybody in your organization and eventually everybody else thinks, oh, McDonald's, restaurants, fast food, it's da 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 da. I'm right. loving it, right? You know you're going to get the same food every place you go around the country. That's part of your branding. You want yeah. to be able to leverage that again and again and again. And then it, you need to keep it simple yeah. and leverage it across every platform. So social media, publicity, advertising, whatever it might be. Okay, and then we move on to benefits, not features. This one I think is yeah. kind of key because what we're talking about is not we've got really good food. It's we've got really. It's it's what's going to happen after you eat it. You're going to feel good, right? Exactly. Is that the idea. Yeah, it is a really important idea because the the risk, the more uh, expertise you have, is that you focus on oh, it's got X amount of RAM. It's this fast. It's and the answer is no. What you really want to know is is will it run YouTube? Will it run this software? Will it be fast and everything and not all the features of what goes underneath the hood? I like that. Yeah. Uh, what does extend, extend through everything? What does that mean? Well, it means that once you've done the first five steps, you want to make sure that you use that across every marketing platform that you have. So if you're doing billboards, if you're running advertisements on PCTV, magazines, magazines yeah. you want to make sure that the message is congruent because as soon as your message is not congruent, people pick up on that. They may yeah. not know why, but it'll bug them. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's the subconscious. It's it is the, a very yeah. subconscious. That's, that's about branding. It is mm -hmm. about your messaging. and You want to make sure you extend it throughout everything. Wow. These are great. That's Thank just you. six. There's 66 rules there in the book actually, here. Yeah. So there's plenty more to learn from that. And of course, uh, we get a little bit more also by going to One Million Cups. Yes. So Tony, let's talk about uh, the event uh, and uh, when this one will be held. So yeah, our next event is August 2nd. So coming up in a couple weeks. Yep. Uh, first Wednesday of every month, we're back on that schedule. Uh, Weber State downtown on Washington, great space, kind of a startup space with uh, a bunch of other small businesses incubating. Right. So it's got the right vibe. Uh, Ogden just has that going. Anyway, that's there's something impressive there is so much heat the there, man. There's so much going on in every segment there that it's it's mind blowing uh, the opportunities and the and the energy that's uh, kind of manifesting itself there. Um, you know, complimentary breakfast. Public is welcome, obviously. That's right. Um, and you you stand to benefit and learn a lot if you participate in this program. It's, it's not it's, just it's about a winner. A not yeah. just about a cup of coffee. No. There's a whole lot more happening there. There. Yeah. yeah I I want to thank you guys all so very much for being here. And uh, Ryan, I wish you continued success. I and this is it, it looks just impressive. So we know there's going to be a bunch of cities by the time we hear from you again. <laughs> so definitely come back and let us know about that when you get Park City on there. I'm sure that's going to happen. Too. Park City connections on its way. I'm sure. Dave David, uh, thank you very much. Thank the book, you. you can find this in stores. Amazon.com. Amazon.com, Amazon. best place to go exactly. for that. Yep. Again, 66 Rules for Publicity Success. And who knows more about publicity, publicity success than Tony Duffy and One Million Cups? Appreciate it, man. Thank As you so always, much. Thank you. All right, make sure you get to this uh, month's, uh, or I should say August's, uh, uh, One Million Cups event. And of course, we uh, will look forward to what he brings in September. There's always something exciting and entrepreneurial coming your way. There's more coming your way here on the Mountain Morning Show as well. We will be back right after this.